have it on the dorsum of left hand and I am going to block the brachial plexus by dual approach. It means a injection above the clavicle and another injection below the clavicle. Aim of to inject the local necessary solution in the brachial plexus seat. This is the acromion in here. You can notice the external glutomastoid. This is the external end and this is the clavicular end. This is the external jugular vein. Put your finger on the external glutomastoid and ask the patient to lift the head. Serotobitum. Roll this finger laterally. Now you are on the scalenus anticus. And further roll the finger laterally, you will be in the interscalenic group. So this is the interscalenic group. So this is external pleidomastoid. This is scalenus anticus. This is scalenus medius. And another landmark is the feel the coracoid process. So this is the coracoid process here. And this is the clavicle. This is the coracoid process. The approaches for the brachial plexus. So I have marked the internal scanning group, this triangular area in between the scalenus anticus and scalenus medius. So put your finger in the group. You can roll the omohyoid value. So this is the point of entry of the needle here. And another point of entry of needle is just medial above the coracoid process somewhere here the two entry point okay. then the head should be turned to the opposite side and next should be extended backward and tip of the shoulder should be depressed down from the entry point. Again confirm the interscanning group. Insert the needle from the entry point. Now insert slowly. Puncture the facial covering. Aspirate and inject. Aspirate and inject and slowly, slowly advance the needle. Create the path for the advancing needle. Now remove the finger aspirate and inject rotate in 3-4 planes to avoid accidental intravascular injection now further advance you can notice the ballooning here in the interscalene groove I have injected 10 ml of the solution. To the clavicle, just medial and above the coracoid process, aim is to install the solution in the same brachial plexus seat. So feel the coracoid process here. This is the coracoid process. Insert the needle from the medial aspect. Advance the needle till it touches the clavicle and go just deep, till the, till the direction and go just deep to aspirate and inject. Aspirate and inject. Rotate the needle in 3 4 planes to avoid any extra intravascular injection you can see it is in the same seat the solution is pushing ballooning the seat and that's why it is coming from the upper needle that again and you can notice the ballooning here so nearly I have injected 10 ml from above 10 ml from below so remove these two needles and massage the area Now in this patient, to take the graft from the left thigh, 
I am blocking the LCNT that is lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh and I am also blocking the femoral nerve. So I am marking the anterior superiolic spine. This is anterior superior iliac spine. I am marking the pubic tubercle that is PT here. This is PT and link these two areas that roughly represents the inguinal ligaments. Divide this line into three, one and two. All right. Now feel the femoral pulses. So this is the femoral artery. Medial to this is femoral vein and lateral to this is femoral nerve. Now for LCNT block, feel the anterior spine just about one centimeter below and medial somewhere here you insert the needle and for femoral nerve block just lateral to the femoral RD and about one centimeter below the inguinal ligament somewhere here is the entry point for the femoral nerve this is for lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh now insert the needle pierce the skin subcutaneous tissue and of course the underlying fascia aspirate and inject aspirate and inject Apply the finger distally to avoid the spread in quadral direction. So I have injected about 5 ml of the solution in this area. Massage this area. Pierce the fascia aspirate and inject aim is that your tips should be just medial to anterior spine and during withdrawal you inject the Subcutaneous tissue also. And massage the area. post burn hypertrophic scar left hand so I have already given dual brachial plexus block and we will excise this lesion hypertrophic lesion uh, with the help of Hamid's knife and we will do tangential excision and we will take care to preserve not to damage the peritoneum of the extensor tendon excision tangential excision we will apply split thickness skin graft and this should be followed by elastic garments. What's the other name?
जमीन वाले चिपकने मिठे hypertrophic scar you can notice now the veins dorsal hand veins and of course the tendons so this has been leveled out now we will apply a split thickness incision graft this area is a depigmented post burn scar so we will apply a graft to pigment this area also all the area long thin seat to cover from PIP joint of the finger down up to the proximal aspect of wrist joint so single seat will cover all the area we have to fix this area by 6O proline so we have applied POP spleen and we have applied a simple bandage device to elevate the hand like this you think this is wonderful.